Hello, thank you for joining me. You know, it is summertime, and it has been quite hot, hot and humid, actually, over the last four weeks. And as we are now in the middle of July, actually coming to the very end of July, the last week, we sometimes get caught up with so many different things. Now that people are going around to different places and, you know, trying to, you know, maybe make up you know, for some of the time that was lost during the shutdown by going to different stores or maybe getting some relaxation time visiting people or going into the pools or down the shore, that we lose time and the importance of spending time with God. And that comes in many different facets. First and foremost, praying. And we can't forget to say our prayers daily multiple times during the day, even if it's for just short periods of time, we need to make sure that we're keeping in our hearts and on our minds God all the time. So even if it's just 20 seconds of just saying thank you for giving me what you've given me, the different talents and abilities, my family, and definitely the abilities that make me be able to be the you know, disciple for you, O Lord, thank you. Again, very short, but definitely important. It's also important for us to do a conscious examination during the day, you know, to look at the end of our day. How did I live it? What did I maybe could have done better? What have I done wrong that I need to change? But it's important to recognize that. Another thing that we could do to make God a priority even in the midst of our summers is to go to church, spending some prayerful time where I come not only to receive the sacrament, but I also come to offer my prayers for one another and to offer thanksgiving to God, to adore God, love God. And another part of our summertime that we can't be away from God or taking a vacation from God would mean that I spend a little time with prayer. Sometimes it may mean a prayerful reading of the Bible. It may mean a spiritual book. It may mean a book on the saints. But nonetheless, to spend time spiritually prayerfully, and to be able to gain our and growth of our knowledge of God. It's all possible, and it's a good time to do it in the summertime. So I really offer this to you as we are at the end of July to don't let the summer go by and forget about God. God never takes a vacation from us, nor should we take a vacation from him. Make God a priority all the time each and every day of your life by prayer, by reading, by meditation, by coming to church and receiving him. In doing so, we make our relationship with God even stronger and we become better disciples in service to him and to one another. May God bless you on your day and thank you for joining me today.